Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is uh, episode or part 12 of this set of basic Dreamweaver tutorials. So if you haven't uh, seen the others in the series, just know that this is part of a much longer, uh, much longer series. So uh, in this one today, I want to take what we've done so far. I've got my template open. You can see here I've got the main template.dwt open. And uh, when we were building this, I just had put in this placeholder banner. You can see this, this graphical banner up here that says my new website and a little photo in the background there and some text. So uh, what I want to do is I want to create a new banner and uh, in Fireworks, we'll use Fireworks to do that and uh, then replace this one. Okay, so before I jump over to Fireworks, I want to just find out um, how big this one is. So when I make the new one, I know exactly the size I want. So when I click once on this banner, it becomes selected here uh, in Dreamweaver. And down on the property bar, I can see the width is 770 and the height is 130. <clears throat> now I can make the, the uh, width a different, I'm not too worried about, I mean the height. I'm not too worried about the height because uh, that change, it can change. The width though, I think I want to make it 770 because I've made everything else here a width of 770, these other tables that I've used. Um, so to keep things even on, on the sides, I'm going to make the banner 770. So let me switch over to fireworks. And I've got a, uh, a photo I'm going to open up here. So I've just opened a JPEG and uh, it's just a JPEG of uh, somebody took a picture of the globe Africa on a on a globe so um, and I can see down here that this image is 1,000 pixels wide by 750 pixels high so it's plenty big now all I want to do with this image is use part of it or a slice of it as sort of the background of my graphic kind of like here the one that I have I had a picture of of this bridge going on to Manhattan here I don't know which bridge it was but <clears throat> Uh, you know, I, I'm not f trying to put a whole picture of uh, my family in here because this style of banner wouldn't work with that. I just want to almost use it like background texture just to sort of make my site look a little bit nicer here at the top. So I want just a piece of this out. If I tried to shrink this down to fit into 770 by 130, it would be really distorted. So all I'm going to do is just crop out a rectangle that's exactly the size that I need. So I'm going to go grab my crop tool, which is over here in this tools toolbar down the left side. So the crop tool is that second one down, second one over. Pick that up. And now when I crop this out, I'm not trying to make it the right size exactly or even put it in the right place. I just want to get a cropping rectangle dragged out. So I just clicked and held my mouse and dragged out um, this rectangle, sort of like that. Uh, then to get it the right size, I'm just going to go down to the properties bar here and type in the, the width that I want, 770, and type in the height that I want. Okay, and that sets that cropping rectangle to be exactly um, the right size. So then I just have to find the spot that I want it to, uh, to be on. So I can play around with where this is going to go. Maybe I'll grab a piece from up here um, from Northern Africa. All right, so once I get that cropping rectangle in, in the spot that I want it, all I need to do is double click inside of the area that I want to keep, and it cuts off everything that was outside of that box. Now, I don't quite like that, so I'm going to undo it. Let me just get that set up again here quick. Um, so, all right, I think I'd rather have a piece kind of right in the middle here. Okay, double click there. There's my piece. Uh, now, Fireworks has zoomed out on that a little bit, so I'm gonna just going to zoom up on it so I can see it a little bit more of its actual size. So I'm at 66%. Okay, so I've got this little banner created, or this little graphic created. Um, and if I'm just going to use it as background image, uh, I'm going to need some text on there. So I'm going to go over into the tools uh, over here on this left side pick up the text tool which is this button that has the T on it so I'm going to click on that picks up the tool <laughs> excuse me then I can come out on the canvas and I'm just going to click once and that gets a text box started 
and the text box will grow to fit my text. So I might put in something like Mr. Stacks Math Site. How about math class? All right, so once I have the text out, I'm not worried about what it looks like, what color it is, what font it is, where it is. I'm just going to use the text tool to type the text. Then I'm going to go back and get my black pointer tool. That's kind of the default one. Once I have that one picked up, I can click inside of here and move this bit of text around. I can also adjust its size just using the property bar down here. And if I want a different font or a different color here, I can open up and choose. Maybe I'll go down and there's lots of choices here. I'm going to use, uh, uh, how about how about Verdana? Now you can, uh, one of the neat things about um, this version of Fireworks is, notice as I roll my mouse over these different fonts, I get to see my text in that font. So I can see what my letters are going to look like, um, which is kind of nice. So you can kind of see as I'm rolling over these, I can decide which one I want to use. I think I'm just going to go with Verdana and maybe make that bold. All right. Now it's having a, it's it, because it's on top of this map. It's a little busy underneath there, so it's hard for that to show up. Um, so I may also add here under filters uh, a drop shadow to make it stand out a little bit more. And I might play, try a different colored text, like I have black text there. Let me just see what happens if I make it white. Uh, the white stands out a lot more. Uh, one uh, one other thing you can do or you can try while you're uh, playing with the text here is uh, putting a thin uh, colored border around the text. So I have a white white fill in my text. I come down here to the stroke and pick a black stroke and it'll put a little thin black line around that text which then makes it just stand out a little bit more. Okay, and I can drag around and position it here. Now if I wanted another line of text in here maybe a you know a subtitle of some sort I just need to pick up the text tool again and I might make this a little bit smaller and uh, I'll ha create a separate text box oh, that's not what I quite wanted I'm gonna get the text box started first and then um, you can see I've got the settings show up so 20 white and I'll have to put on um, some other things so um, So put in a little subtitle there, and maybe down there. So I've got two separate set text boxes, which makes it a lot easier for me to um, manipulate these. So maybe I'll make it a different color and put a white stroke on that one to make it stand out a little bit, um, and position it down there. All right, so it's just something really simple like that. Okay, so with that, I'm going to save these changes. So file save will give me a uh, PNG file type and I'm going to make sure that that gets into my local root folder which I put on my desktop and into my images folder and I've got a folder in there called masters so I'm going to save this right into there and the reason I want to save this PNG file type um, is because that is my master copy which if I needed to later I could open it back up and I would still have three pieces the background and the two text boxes and I could still edit them but it's not the one that I'm going to use on my website it's not the one, my, the one I'm actually going to place on the website <clears throat> because we want a JPEG or a GIF out for that and so to figure out which one of those to use I come down to image preview and under image preview here I can uh, split my screen and I can see this top one here if I had turned it into a JPEG a quality of 99 which means not very compressed this is how it would look so that looks really nice uh, except that it's a big file it's almost 150 K um, so down here on the bottom one uh, I've got another copy of this and I'm just gonna change the quality I'm gonna reduce the quality a little bit so I'm compressing it now so if I go down to say 80 percent you can see it still looks almost exactly the same except the file size now is almost 100k less so I could even maybe take that down a little bit farther 
Let's go to 70. So once I start um, compressing it too much, I'll start to see artifacts around this text here. You can kind of see um, when you save an image as a JPEG, uh, JPEGs like photographs. That's what JPEGs are for, compressing photographs. But I've got some plain text on here, and the JPEG will have trouble with these straight lines and these solid blocks of color. It doesn't like to compress those, so that's why we'll start seeing artifacts showing up. So I can see artifacts showing up. So I'm going to go back up to 80 um, or so there, and that looks like it'll be okay. Um, if I wanted to check out and see what this looked like as a GIF, um, I could select this top one, switch up here to a GIF, and I could see what it looks like as a GIF. So GIFs uh, do much better with big areas of the same color. So the GIFs really like this text, although the GIF has a lot of trouble with um, photographs, the gradients in the photographs, because you can see it's only giving me 256 colors, uh, a room for 256 colors on the palette. So I'm going to go with this JPEG down here. Um, and if you want to know more about using um, this image preview window and using fireworks in the next set of tutorials will be the whole set of tutorials is on fireworks. So I'm going to click export. Um, uh, okay, and I just need to make sure it goes into my local root folder and I'll put it here under banners and say export. Okay, so I think I got that. Uh, that image out. In the next tutorial we'll talk about adding it onto your template, letting your template update, and then if you decide you want your banner to be a little bit different. Thanks for watching.